Welcome to this video on creating a list in Scheme. This video is based on materials created by Professor Mark Kvatser of the University of Greenwich. And it's presented by me, Andy Wicks. So let's jump into some code. Here we're in the Dr. Racket environment and now we can get down to creating some code. The first thing you have to know is that a list is made up of atoms. Atoms are a single piece of information. So I could type in something like my age, that's an atom. Or I could type in the golden ratio, that's a real number. And I can type in 1618 and that is an atom too. If we want literal text, we have to enclose it in double quotes. So to get my name in, I have to use double quotes either side of Andy. And finally, you can have atoms that are Boolean. So you could have true, which is hatch T, or hatch F for false. Now, these are atoms. These are single pieces of information, and they are not a list. So how do we create a list? Well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of what's on the screen here, and I'm going to do that by ensuring that the top window, the definitions window, is empty, and then I hit Control and R. Control and R clears the bottom window because we've run nothing. So now let's create a list. And unsurprisingly, a list is created with the list command. So we can have a list that says list atom A, atom B, and atom C. We need the single quote if there's text involved to say this is a literal atom rather than a variable as we think of it in other programming languages. But there are no variables in functional programming of course. So if I hit enter now I get my list A, B, C. That's fairly easy but functional programmers like to keep to a minimalist approach. Unlike languages such as Python, you tend not to use explicit long names for things. You keep it all as short as possible. So if I want to create a list, I can shorten that command above by having a single quote and then inputting the items that I want to have in that list. And that produces exactly the same list as I had before. Now, Control and R again to clear that screen. We could have a list that contains all sorts of different things. So I could have a list that contains the character A, the golden ratio, 1.618, and true. And that will produce a list of completely different types of information. There are no such things as variables in functional programs, but you can define constants. So we can have something like define x and then we say what we want x to be. So in this case we want x to be a list of say letters. We have now defined a list called x. In imperative programming languages I could change what's in that list but in functional programming once that list is created it's fixed, it's constant. You can do things with the atoms that are in the list, but you can't make changes to the list. So I can define x to be that. And you'll notice that nothing happened. It's merely a definition. So if I want to see what's in x, I just type in x and up comes the list ABC.